This is problem number 17 from the June 2016 Algebra Regions exam. So this question states we've got a student that invests $500 for three years into a savings account that earns 4% interest per year, and no further deposits or withdrawals are made during this time. Which statement does not yield the correct balance in the account at the end of three years? So there's a handy formula that's going to help us with this question. And it is A equals P times 1 plus R to the power of T. And this formula is used to help us calculate um, amount of money for either an investment or a loan. So A represents the um, amount of the final investment or loan. So we'll call it the final value, or the final amount of money. The P stands for the principal. Sorry about my messy writing. Uh, the principal or starting value of your investment. The R stands for the rate or the interest rate. And then T, as you might guess, is the amount of time of the loan or investment. So on the left-hand side of the page here, let's try and uh, fill in these gaps. So the final amount is going to be the principal amount, and we started with $500, so it's going to be 500 times 1 plus the interest rate. Now the interesting thing about the interest, interest rate is that um, if you get it as a percent, it needs to be um, converted into uh, decimal format, and that means dividing by 100. So if we take 4%, and divide it by 100, we get 0 0.04. So it's actually going to be 1 plus 0 0.04. And then our time in this case is 3 years. So it's going to be to the power of 3. Now, if we uh, simplify this a bit, we would get 500 times 1.04 to the power of 3. So we can see that is um, answer number 1. So that one's definitely correct. We're looking for the answer that is wrong. Now, another way of looking at this original um, equation here is that we're adding uh, 1 plus 0 0.0.4 0 .4 three times and multiplying them together. And you can see that is option number three. And if you're clever, you can see that option number two, there's something wrong here and that it's being, it's 1 minus 0 0.04. Um, as you can see, what we figured out, it's actually supposed to be added because the amount of interest is increasing. It's an investment, right? It shouldn't be decreasing. So based on that, we can tell that number two is the incorrect answer. Um, another method you could use to get to this solution is to actually type into your calculator these four different um, possible answers, and you'll see that option number two ends up with a um, different answer than the rest. So that's another way of getting to the same answer. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.